Hi, Dana. Welcome. Hi. Hey. Please keep your chat function open. I will go ahead and give you your time cues on there. Go ahead and slay your name and outlet and you can begin. Okay, Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition. Hello, guys. It is wonderful to speak to you. This series was just mind blowing. I could not keep up. There were so many different plot twists and turns. So I was wondering, <clears throat> as each episode came about, I had my own theories. Um, as actors kind of reading the script and kind of going along with, this, with the show as well, did you have any kind of theories at first that the show just completely debunked? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I thought they were going to be immediately rescued and now we go to someplace else and deal with that. And, um, but the dynamic between each individual characters was, was, was fun to watch and watch them develop and watch them come together as a unit. Um, because, you know, in today's environment, we, we, we kind of live in an isolated place on social media. So, you know, when you don't have those, those avenues to, to, to you know, connect with, and you're forced to deal with each other and deal with yourself. The dynamic is that is this beautiful storytelling. So it's it's yeah, it was interesting to see, and some of the twists and turns are like I did not see that coming. Okay, so yeah, so it was fun to watch. Wonderful. Um, so I was also wondering with both of your characters. We don't really, we slowly learn things about you, but not full much. What would you say with this whole setting, you guys, you play one, you play an FBI agent, the other one, Dr. Daniel Farber. What would you say is your best and worst qualities? Uh, I, I think that we both love what we do. Uh, not, not to speak for him, but I, I, I just, I, I feel like, you know, once you get to the level where you're a government official, and you're an FBI agent, like you, you have to love what it is that you do because you, you're willing to put your, your life uh, kind of aside in order to, to become an expert in your field. And I think that's kind of, you know, given for any expert in any field, like you have to sacrifice a lot of time and energy and efforts into to getting to where you want to be. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, that, that we're both hard workers and we both um, have something that we want to gain from this experiment. And uh, unfortunately, with some of the information that we're getting or how one person is getting information, it really kind of changes, you know, how the other person sees, sees his partner. So I don't know, that's that, that kind of stuff is really cool to me. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, 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 Dean is, is morally conflicted um, later on in the show. So um, I hate having to, as a character, not, not um, uh, having to deal with that. So, but it's interesting to see. It's 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 good TV to see that conflict happen, um, and it questions who he is uh, morally, um, um, because he he kind of relates to his own family, to his own history. Why did he get there? What why is he feeling this way? And that's going to be interesting to see and interesting to come out across the page. And once you, you know, and and, and once we hopefully season two comes around, you'll get to see a lot more and and dive into these characters because right now it's it's mainly focused on the women and you want to see what their lives are all about but you know these are two characters that are it's very as as, as just as interesting um to see so we you know we hope to convey that soon right and if you could sit down with your characters as yourself what advice would you give them <laughs> uh yeah be patient uh, don't, don't be in a rush. Don't, um, don't show all your cards. Um, know that the, know that the, the story will unfold and that the truth will be told and, and, uh, give these girls an opportunity to share their stories. Yeah. What you see is not necessarily what you get. You know, the gut will never lie. Trust it. And it'll take you far. <laughs> right. And lastly, if you could sum up the wiles in just three words, what would you use? Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I like that. What about uh, you? Uh, female dystopic sleepover. Mm. <laughs> that works too. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Take care.